that we have a Tupperware. So I am so honored to, uh, today to be with all of you, giving you an update uh, on where we are with this incredible partnership as it takes roots in the U.S. and also in Canada. Like I said, girls on the run. It's about activating relationships in your community around a cause so near and dear to our hearts as an organization. It's all about empowering women. And in this case, it's about one little girl at a time. To explain more alongside me, I have an amazing panel. We're gonna start, and please let's give her a warm Tabor welcome to the Vice President for Partnerships and Development for Girls on the Run, Liz Wyan. Woo! I also have three amazing business leaders who have engaged in activating Girls on the Run in their company. Please welcome from Hooray Sales, Marsha Brown. is pretty awesome. So this is going to give us an update on where we are with the engagement at uh, Girls on the Run and also an update on the Canadian pilot program. So take it away. Thank you so much. I am so honored and so thrilled to be with you all today. Thank you again so much for having us. So I just want to ground everybody in what Girls on the Run is. I know we've been to a couple of events with you all, most recently at Jubilee, but just for those of you in the room that may not be familiar, the goal and the vision of Girls on the Run is a world where every girl knows and activates her limitless potential and is boldly free to pursue her dreams. Isn't that the kind of the mission of Tupperware as well? Yeah. Such great alignment. And then here we have it on the, on the screen for you. Look at all of the, the attributes and the values that you all hold dear to this organization that has allowed you to be such a prosperous and amazing company for 70 years. And then on the opposite side, look at the values that we hold dear to our program and our organization that have allowed us to grow for the last 24 years. To, to quote the hand, say yes, this all matches up, correct? We are all just so well aligned. And then in terms of our programming, what do we offer to the girls across the U.S. and Canada? So we have four unique program offerings. Girls on the Run, which is our organization and the name of our third through fifth grade program. So this is for girls in elementary school, and this is probably the most well-known and um, expansive program that we offer. Then we have Heart and Soul, which is reaching girls at that middle school age. Does anybody have a sixth or eighth grade girl? Yeah. That, that's the sound of a mom who's trying real hard with her sixth or eighth grade girl. And there's a lot coming at them. That's society telling them so many things that they can't do, and she's telling them everything she can do. And that's what Heart and Soul does. And then we have Camp Goaders for out of school time. We have summer break. We have uh, winter vacation. We have spring break. What do you do with your girls during that time? Camp Goder is that answer. And the one that I'm really excited to bring to you all, and I had, don't think anyone in the room has heard, we have finalized a name and a logo and a brand for our remote delivery in Canada delivery option, which is Girls Run Together. So Girls Run Together is exactly that. It allows girls across the U.S. and Canada that weren't previously able to tag into a Girls on the Run Council to uh, be a part of the program. So let me tell you a little bit more about GRIT, G-R-T. So this is the uh, marketing, some of the marketing materials for the new program. And we're really excited to pilot this starting now with our consultants here in Canada. I have a shout out to Jamie and her business leader Myrtle for their support of the program and all of the extra work they're doing to bring this program into Canada. Right now we have uh, program sites registering in Alberta, Manitoba, and Ottawa. So if you're in one of those cities, we do have information for you if you want to get involved with what the local teams there are doing to bring the program in there. This is just a pilot, so we are we're learning to have a ten month old, so we're learning to crawl before we walk, and then we'll we will run, and we'll run with you all. So right now we're piloting it this spring. We intend to do some more work over the summer, fine tuning the program, and then we will. And I'm getting ahead of myself. Here is that. We will uh, then take it to a new pilot with even more uh, folks involved in the fall, and our plan is to launch this throughout the country, um, throughout the country of Canada next spring. 
So we've got some exciting things ahead. For those of you that want more information, want to get involved, want to get connected to those um, t teams that are in those three cities I mentioned, we do have a website. Um, it's a little bit long, so you can find me out at the booth outside, or you can always feel free to email, and I can provide you that. But it's a bit.ly link at bit.ly. And then it's G-O-T-R, Girls on the Run, Tupperware. So go to Tupperware. If you go there, you can be connected to get more information. You can also sign up to get more information. And we will connect you with our business leader. I'm sorry, we will connect business leaders with our project manager. But what is Girls on the Run without the impact of the stories that we tell? So we so often hear from school administrators, from coaches, from teachers that have seen the transformational impact the program has done for the girls in their community. But when we hear from the parents, it's when we really know that the impact has been transformational. So I want to share a story with you all um, about a couple of a girl on the run and her family and how the program impacted them. So this is an email that was sent to our organization from Whitney's father, Jason. And Jason said, the morning of the Girls on the Run 5K, there were raindrops the size of ping pong balls, falling with such force they created a haze. It was the kind of day that would deflate even the most dedicated of runners. But on this damp, dark April morning, the spirit of Girls on the Run was on full display. In Girls on the Run, you make the most of everything. You accept you appreciate, you encourage, you include, you learn, you work, you celebrate, and you smile. It can change a girl for the better, and I've got the proof right here. My daughter Whitney was a oh, I went fast. Can I go back one? Sorry. My daughter Whitney was a girl on the run, not because she needed physical exertion, activities, or friends. She plays a variety of sports, belongs to Girl Scouts and 4-H and keeps a long list of close pals. But she isn't always upbeat, isn't always certain she can accomplish goals, isn't always comfortable being herself, because that's human nature, especially when you're rolling towards adolescence. I tell her to smile, carry on, and look at the bright side, even though I am often guilty of not doing the same in my own life. So when Whitney and I ran this past Saturday, we did everything Girls on the Run inspires without even trying. We supported her peers, giving celebratory high fives, and every 10 steps we took, people were replicating this kind of positive support back to us. Whitney never stopped smiling. Her joy was contagious. Maybe you're thinking this is all saggy, soggy exaggeration. When it comes to harboring contempt for over-the-top happiness, I'm near the front of the line. Used to be, anyway. Girls in the Run helped fix that with what they call the positive plug-in. It's pretty simple. You can choose to plug into a positive or a negative outlook. I can or I can't. I will or I won't. I do or I don't. I told Whitney about two miles into our run that her plug-in was so positive it's creating sparks. I have run thousands of miles, often driven by a clock or comforted by solitude. Saturday brought neither of those, yet it was the best 3.1 miles of my life. And I love that story because it tells so transformationally what the program does and what we're able to do through Girls in the Run. Wow, this kid, this is a amazing story. Very touching. Thank you so much. We're very, very excited. So we're going to move now into our amazing business leaders and to tell us a little bit about what they're doing and what they have done. So we're going to start with Marsha. And Marsha, just tell us a little bit about why you have made this decision to engage. And I know you have done a lot at your studio. So just share a little bit of some of those activities. Okay, so um, I was so excited when we heard last year that Girls on the Run was going to be partnering with Tupperware. Tupperware was partnering with Girls on the Run because Girls on the Run actually started in Charlotte and I had the opportunity to meet Matt Molly Barker who was the founder of it and I just really believe in their mission because it so much aligns with ours to empower girls and women to be confident, dynamic leaders in the community and to really make a difference. So I wanted to jump on it as quick as we could. And as soon as we got home, I started like reaching out to find out who I needed to talk to. <laughs> and got a list of some of the different um, chapter leaders in that we have um, Salesforce in that area. So we could reach out to them and say, how can we help? What can we do? And we invited some of them to come into our studio. And we sat down and we talked about the ways that we could help them and partner with them. So um, as we started to roll it out, we last fall, we did a cook 
cooking class for the, uh, the coach appreciation event. So at the end of the season, they'll often do something to engage the coaches and give them a, an opportunity to come together for a reward, so to speak. So we did a cooking class in the studio. We had over 25 ladies there. Um, they got to play with the products. They got to see it. And of course, for them, it was very new, very different. They had not seen it. And we've offered to do that in some of the different areas, the local churches or places that they have a kitchen that we can go and do that. Um, we were really excited though this fall, I mean this um, spring season, we actually in January and February, we hosted three um, training events for coaches. So over 200 coaches came through our studio and, um, and they used our studio and I think that there's a picture of them there and this was just one of them. We had three different Saturdays that they came in. And, um, as they came in, you know, they got to see the studio. We had a welcome letter for them. We shared with them some of the different activities that we have going on. Um, but more importantly, just looking at the ways that we can support them. We also had the marketing head of our local chapter come to Raleigh and share with us some of the different things that we could do as Salesforce to help them, the different ways that we could volunteer, both at the race um, and in the community as coaches and different things. So, you know, we're just super excited. The more we can do to support them, the more visibility, of course, it brings our Tupper brand out there. But, you know, we're all out there doing the same thing, and that's building the young women of the future. Awesome. Thank you, Basha. Let's give her a big round. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much, Basha, for sharing. And the same thing with the question for you, Samantha. Just Tell us a little bit about your why, and you also have a studio, and you've done other activities, so can, can you share those? Yeah, so when it was brought to us at Jubilee, I had never even heard of Girls on the Run, and so um, I honestly, not knowing anything about it, I just did it because we were asked to do it in our studios, um, in which we did, and I reached out to them, and my first meeting with Joy, our president there, I said, why would somebody like me, who's pretty girly, girly, those of you that know me, have, have three boys, what part would I even play on Girls on the Run? And she said, don't you want your boys to marry somebody like you? And I thought, well, that could get expensive. <laughs> 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 My husband will tell you. <laughs> uh, uh, but when we got to know her and the relationship and the women that I'm meeting in the Girls on the Run organization are just so motivating just to watch them. So we also had coaches meetings at the studio. They don't have locations, so they came to us and um, were able to hold their meetings there. We only had about 50 come through there. We're a much smaller area. And they would walk in and just like, wow. So I was really honored and humbled to um, be able to bring that brand awareness that we have to the Girls on the Run and partner with that and have that product there because they have no idea that we also have product that we're helping fundraise for them because the initial cost that these girls pay and the families pay doesn't even cover the cost of what they do. Um, and then Joy offered to come in the picture that you see there. Um, I was able to have Pam with us and her organization in uh, the studio and they came and actually did one of their lessons, which was awesome because I think growing up, those of us that maybe didn't have support systems we can so use that program now, and I look at our young kids today, and my husband and I often say, kids today are so soft, and you have to be so delicate with them because you're afraid of what they're gonna say. And if you have that person other than a parent, because I'm supposed to tell you, Austin, you're amazing as a parent, but um, as a Girls on the Run, that outsider, it's so different. And I know, ironically, my person is sitting in this room today and gave me a kick in the butt many times. Thank you, Austin Waller. Um, and I think those girls need that, and I think that's what Girls in the Run provides. So having them come and do this lesson, these women, grown women crying, and, you know, wearing their heart on their sleeve, um, just to have that experience for a young girl's thing. So that was cool. They're going to come back and do more, and it's like having a free guest speaker. <laughs> yes, so that's nice. Thank you so much, Samantha, yes. again, for, for leading the way um, in your area in Reno. Uh, with Girls on the Run, so that's exciting. Let's give her a round. Okay. And last but not least, uh, we have Sue, and also Sue, let's uh, let's hear a little bit on your why and and how you have engaged, which is in a different in a different perspective. You don't have a studio, but you've done a lot. Uh, I think for a year now with Girls on the Run. So let us uh, share with a little bit with us. Okay, thank you. Yes, it's um, actually I hadn't heard of Girls on the Run, so for me it was hearing about it here and then participating in my first 5K 
um, last spring and being able to have my sales force there also. So it gave them the interaction with the parents and the kids. And I think what inspired me the most was how I, in my mind, related it to um, uh, Liz mentioned scouts having raised two girls and done scouting for eight years as a leader, I just saw this, the um, correlation between the two and how it instilled confidence in them. I mean, these girls, they all do the 5K, no matter if it takes them, you know, the time, they have a counter and, you know, everybody is just there cheering them on. So it's such a building time for all of them. So having the um, opportunity to have Salesforce there and be a part of that and having that be in front of Girls on the Run, Tupperware being a sponsor was awesome. Um, the second uh, 5K that I did was actually in my town and it was run a little bit differently. I was actually a course marshal for that one where I just kind of had my pom pom and you know kind of guided them to you know going around the corner side of thing. And but it was the same feeling. You know, you still see all these parents and all the you know moms and dads and you know being their buddy and running with them and just everybody lifting everybody up. Um, and then the last 5K that I did this last fall, I think what really touched uh, my heart was I had a dad. A mom and a dad were there with their two uh, girls. And the dad came up to me before the race even started and gave me the biggest hug and didn't let go and had tears in his eyes and was just telling me how much he appreciated having this event. And apparently they, the, the mom had had some surgery. She had a brace on her knee, but he said they just had gone through a rough patch and that this was just what they needed. And he was so appreciative of the girls on the run and us being sponsors, you know, being with Tupperware and being there as volunteers and being a part of that. So it's an awesome, awesome thing to be a part of. Well, that's fantastic. Just give her a big one. I am telling you, um, it's such a great experience. And I, I cannot thank you enough for really leading the way in uh, transforming the lifestyle in your community. And uh, we are going to call in one of our best friends, actually our girlfriend, Cheryl, to the stage. Come on, Cheryl. And, uh, I want Cheryl to really take this to life in terms of what do I do? I'm at a party and I have my catalog, which is my great tool for my business. And uh, so what do I do? What do I say? And no, no, you know, we cannot have anybody but Cheryl to share some more choices. So, go ahead. <laughs> So thank you, Diane. So at my Tupperware parties, guys, y'all know I do the auction. And so no matter what you do at your parties, I ask this question. I would say, how many of y'all um, volunteer in your community? Whether you volunteer church, the hospital, or SPCA, a nonprofit, how many of y'all? So how many of y'all volunteer at in your community? They raise their hand. And when they raise their hand, I give them a thousand dollars. And then depending on how many people at the party and how many raise their hand, I'll ask one or two of them, so who do you volunteer for? And then they'll tell me. And it gives me a good segue into letting me talk about the partnership with Girls on the Run. So the great thing about the Girls on the Run, and this is what I say, Tupper partners with Girls on the Run. And Girls on the Run is an organization that supports young girls that they can have a belief in themselves, a healthy self-respect for themselves, and have the confidence that they can do anything they put their mind to. And we partnered with this organization. And these girls go through a 10-week course. And at the end of the 10 week course, they run a 5K marathon. And you might be thinking, well, how is Tupper sponsoring with that? And how, what's that have that to do with me? So because you're here at the party tonight, y'all, you can take advantage of an exclusive item on the back of our catalog, and it's our snack set. And this snack set right here is on the go. And you can use whether you're doing it in your backpack, whether it's in the car, whether it's the kids' lunches. But it's a great way to pack healthy snacks. And when you purchase a set of two of these snack keepers, Tupper's going to donate $3 back to the Girls on the Run organization. Now you might be thinking, well, why are they going to do that, Cheryl? Well, I'm glad you asked, because Girls on the Run wants to make sure that every girl throughout the United States can take advantage of this 10-week course and run that 5K. So they know that, yes, I can. So your donation will help with girls who financially can't afford me to pay the, court, the fee to go through the 10-week course. So your donation helps anybody that wants to be a part, any little girl that wants to be a part of the Girls on the Run. So, and then I have to tell you guys, it is such an upsell. My last party that I told you about earlier, there was 10 or 11 people there, everyone but one bought the Snap Keeper. So if you guys think about that, and how much that, that donation and the difference, and that's what I say, as soon as they get, I give them back their receipt, I say, thank you for helping a little girl somewhere in the United States. So it's just a, it's just how I bring it into the party. So thank you, Diane, for letting me know. Thank you so much.
Thank you so very much. So just uh, in summary and in recap, and I think we have a slide. We can have that slide. It's either through a 5K or a fundraising party, or if you have a studio, that connect with a studio. Um, we ask you to visit the website and find a council if you have not been able to find a council and connect with one. Liz also will be outside on her booth to make sure that she can answer any questions. I believe you have your iPad that we can, you know, we can find a council as well. There's a lot of different activities in the 5K, like it's a cheer. You know, you can be cheering out, you can be doing boards. Uh, there's a lot of ways that you can connect, but the only thing that I ask is to really look out and uh, find a way to connect with Girls on the Run. The 5Ks are in May, so we have the schedule already set up and ready to go. May and June are the next 5Ks, so watch out for some information about that. Okay? So in closing again, thank you so very much. Uh, Girls on the Run and connecting our hearts and uh, partnership with all of you. And we're so excited because we're going to be making a difference in every, every little girl's uh, life out there. Say yes? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So